So I'm actually really excited to do this series now. I was not going to do this for almost every team, but after so many people commenting on the LeBron James aka Cleveland Cavaliers team rating, you guys really did want me to do every team. And, you know, to be fair and respectful, I want to do it more than three minutes. I want to have at least five to six minutes per team because we're talking about multiple players here. And, you know, to be respectful, they all deserve at least five minutes, right? So we're going to be doing the NBA 2K15 team ratings for every team. They're going to be at least five minutes in which we can talk about them in depth, talk about their rating because ratings really do play a big part in this game. And we do want them to be utilized and we do want them to be set very well. So so this video we're going to be talking about the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat and as you notice we got the whole Miami Heat lineup on this gameplay. We got Bosch, we got Wade, we got Luol Deng, we got Danny Granger for right now. We got Ray Allen, you know Josh McRoberts is in the bench right now. So right now this is really accurate and don't worry I will be having a video on how to get this roster easily and you know it'll be coming out today. If you're watching this a little bit later just check out the description down below. But anyways. Team STG, we're going to be talking about the Miami Heat. We do know LeBron James left this team, and of course, Luol Dang recently signed, I believe, 20 million for two years, 10 million a year. And honestly, this team is still, look at that dunk, this team is still a playoff contending team. Just because LeBron James left, a lot of people like to say the Miami Heat suck now. They got no team. LeBron James left. They're not going to do nothing. That is false in my opinion 100%. This team is still better than a lot of teams in the East. And they definitely still are a playoff team. Now, of course, LeBron James, you know, he has a big time role. Dway Dwayne Wade is just killing at this gameplay. But of course, LeBron James has a big time role with the Miami Heat when he used to be on there. He was their leading scorer, leading everything, if you will. But still, this team is still a playoff team because, first of all, Chris Bosh signed for so much money. So there's a lot of pressure on him to do really well, and I do think he's going to do it. He's going to get a lot more shot attempts. So I think Dwayne Wade's going to be, uh, I mean, Chris Bosh is going to be playing better. Dwayne Wade, he has no choice to do better. If he doesn't do better, he's going to be getting a lot of hate. So a lot of pressure's on him to step up for what he lacked the previous seasons. Even though he averaged 18 points a game, he's going to have to be healthy this season because there's no way they're going to make the playoffs if he plays like 30 something games again he has to play at least 60 70 if they want a chance of making the playoffs the miami heat signed danny granger now don't get me wrong danny granger isn't who he used to be but don't i'm not trying to uh, he he maybe not be you know 25 26 points a game player but he's still definitely a scorer once a score, always a score, in my opinion. Uh, Danny Granger is not too young, I mean, not too old. Uh, he still has potential, in my opinion. With the shot attempts that he'll be getting in Miami, I think we could see a lot from da uh, Danny Granger. Now, this is also kind of weird talking about because you know me, I'm from Chicago. But Luol Dang also signed with the Miami Heat. That's actually kind of shocking because, you know, I'm from Chicago and, you know, the Heat and all, and the Heat and the Bulls, man, they had the little rivalry going on. So it was just something you never expected, but it's totally fine, man. It is what it is. It's a league you sign with whoever you want to sign with. Miami Heat signed Luol Deng. This dude is a defensive specialist. He knows how to play defense, and that's really going to help. That's really going to help. He, you know, averaged about 20-something points a game. That's really going to help as well. He can score, and he can play some defense. He was an all-star as well. I do believe that Luol Deng definitely will be helping the Miami Heat. Maybe not as tremendously as LeBron James would, but that defensive presence that he brings to the table really is going to help, and it really is going to make them a playoff team. You know, maybe they're not be a, they might not be a one, you know, first seed, second seed, third seed, but they'll definitely be in the playoffs in my opinion and it would be kind of crazy if they like you know maybe get the seventh seed or the sixth seed or the eighth seed and then they end up playing lebron james in the Cavs, or maybe even the second round i think that would be absolutely insane team stg look at that defense man but real talk we still have to wait and see how napier is gonna play we got to see what josh mcroberts is going to do he had a great season with uh, the bobcats aka now the hornets uh, he had a great season with them let's see how he's going to do and play with the miami heats you know, but in the comments down below, Team STG, first and foremost, in 2K14, as soon as you open the game, the Miami Heat were a number one rated team. They were number one, the best team in the game according to rating. Of course, that changed with time because the 2K, you know, updates rosters really, really fast and whatnot. And up, But as soon as you play the game offline, they were rated a number one. I honestly believe that the Miami Heat are still a top 10 team according to ratings. If they do drop below 10, it would be really, really briefly below 10. But I do see them being in the lower top 10s, maybe early top 15. Teams. Let me know what you guys think about this team STG in the comments down below what rating the Miami Heat are going to do and how well are they going to be playing next season. Peace.